joyful. The universe favors joyful people. Written by Justice O. Malcolm. Published by Audiobooks Office. Introduction. Be Joyful Book is a luminous guide to discovering how joy can unlock the doors to the universe's endless abundance. This inspiring book looks into the vibrational power of joy and its capacity to attract positive experiences, opportunities, and outcomes into our lives. It presents a heartwarming and profound exploration of why the universe seems to conspire in favor of those who choose joy and how this choice impacts every aspect of our existence. Through a blend of scientific evidence, spiritual insight, and real-life stories, the book illustrates the magnetic quality of joy that aligns us with the universe's highest frequencies. Each chapter unravels the mysteries of joy as a state of being, offering practical advice on cultivating it within ourselves regardless of external circumstances. Be Joyful teaches readers how to sustain a joyful spirit through practices of gratitude, mindfulness, and positive thinking, transforming how they interact with the world. Be Joyful Book is a manual that guides readers on a transformative journey toward understanding and embodying joy in their daily lives. The author provides actionable strategies for overcoming barriers to joy, such as fear, worry, and negativity, emphasizing that joy is a choice and a powerful creator of reality. Through entertaining exercises and insightful questions, readers are invited to explore the significant impact that joy could have on their health, relationships, and careers, demonstrating that a cheerful life attracts miracles. This book is an invitation to anyone seeking to live a more fulfilled and harmonious life, showing that when we choose joy, we align ourselves with the universe's natural flow of abundance and success. See Why the Universe Favors Joyful People is not just a book to read, it's a journey to the heart of joy itself, offering a transformative perspective on how living joyfully can open us up to the wonders the universe has to offer. In the dance of life, it's not always easy to keep your steps light and your rhythm upbeat. But what if the secret to a fulfilling existence was as simple as embracing joy? You've probably sensed it in your own life when you're joyful, good things seem to happen. It's as if the universe itself is responding to your happiness. How does this work? Why does the universe seem to favor those who are joyful? Can you cultivate this joy and make it a consistent part of your life? These are questions we'll explore together, and the answers might just transform your world. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We noticed that 78% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Chapter 1 the power of being joyful. Embrace the transformative power of joy, for it's your heart's true language that the universe understands and rewards. It's within your reach, accessible at any moment, waiting to light up your life in ways you can't even imagine. You might think that joy is elusive or fleeting, but that's not the case. It's constant, steadfast, and unchanging. You see, being joyful isn't just about feeling happy. It's a state of being, a way of living that can change your perspective, your relationships, and even the course of your life. It's about experiencing the richness of life in all its fullness, about savoring the good times and finding meaning in the difficult ones. When you open your heart to joy, you're making a powerful statement to the universe. You're saying, I choose to live fully, to love openly, and to be present in every moment you're affirming your inherent worth and tapping into an immense source of strength and resilience. Chapter 2. Understanding Joyful Energy Diving into the realm of joyful energy, you'll find it's a vibrant, life-affirming force that can transform your daily experiences and shape your destiny. This isn't about fleeting moments of happiness, but rather a deep-rooted, unwavering sense of joy that permeates every aspect of your life. It's the type of energy that not only lifts your spirit but also has the power to inspire those around you. Joyful energy is contagious. When you exude it, you're not just brightening your own day, but also the lives of those you interact with. 
It's like a lighthouse in a storm, guiding others towards positivity. You become this beacon of hope, radiating an aura of positivity that's hard to ignore. But how exactly does one tap into this reservoir of joyful energy? Well, it starts with cultivating a mindset of gratitude and positivity. Embrace the world with open arms, savoring the beauty that surrounds you. Find joy in the simple things a cup of coffee, a good book, a warm hug. These seemingly small moments are the building blocks of a joy-filled life. Chapter 3. Connecting with Universe's Vibrations To truly tap into the universe's joyful vibrations, it's essential that you're in sync with its rhythm, allowing its positive energy to flow through you and uplift your spirit. This connection isn't just metaphysical, it's a powerful, energetic bond that can transform your life. You have to open your mind and heart to receive these vibrations. It's like tuning a radio, you have to find the right frequency to catch the signal. This process requires patience, focus, and a deep belief in the power and magic of the universe. So how do you align yourself with these vibrations? Start by quieting the noise in your life. Engage in activities that bring you peace and calm. Meditation, yoga, walks in nature, or just sitting in silence can help. These practices create the space for the universe's vibrations to enter and resonate within you. Embrace the understanding that you're part of this grand cosmic orchestra. Feel the connection, the oneness with the universe. This isn't about losing your identity instead. It's about recognizing that you're a vital piece of the puzzle, contributing to the universe's harmonious symphony. Chapter 4. Embracing Positivity Within once you've aligned with the universe's joyful vibrations, you'll find that fostering positivity within yourself becomes a natural next step. It's like planting a seed of joy in the garden of your heart. With daily nurturing, this seed will flourish into a flower of positivity, radiating love, happiness, and peace. Embracing positivity doesn't mean you should ignore life's trials and tribulations. Instead, it's about acknowledging these challenges and choosing to view them as opportunities for growth. Remember, even the darkest nights have a dawn. The key lies in your perspective. Change your lens, change your life. To help foster this optimistic outlook, it's crucial to practice self-love. This isn't about being selfish, it's about recognizing your worth and giving yourself the same kindness you'd extend to others. When you're kind to yourself, you're more likely to radiate positivity outward. The practice of meditation can also be an effective strategy for cultivating positivity. By quieting the mind and focusing on the present moment, you can connect with your inner peace, freeing yourself from negative thoughts and feelings. Regular practice can help you tap into an endless well of joy and positivity within you. Finally, remember that positivity is contagious. The more you embrace it, the more it reflects in your actions, spreading happiness around you. So, tune into the universe's joyful frequency, nurture your inner positivity, and let your light shine. In the next chapter, we'll delve into cultivating joyful habits, another vital step on this journey towards universal joy. Stay tuned. Chapter 5. Cultivating Joyful Habits as you journey towards universal joy, cultivating joyful habits becomes not just an option, but an essential stepping stone. These habits are like your personal cheerleaders, helping you connect with the universe's favor. To cultivate these habits, start with simple, achievable tasks that bring you joy. Maybe it's waking up early to catch the sunrise or jotting down one thing that made you smile each day. These small actions may seem insignificant, but they're building blocks to a joyful life. You're teaching your brain to seek out and hold on to joy. In creating joyful habits, consistency is key. It's not always about the grand gestures, but the daily actions that reinforce your joy. Practice makes perfect, and in this case, practice makes joy. You might stumble some days, but don't beat yourself up. Remember, you're on a journey, and every journey has its ups and downs, you might also find it helpful to surround yourself with joyful people. Their energy can be infectious, 
lifting you up even on your darkest days. And don't forget to spread your joy to others. After all, joy shared is joy multiplied. Cultivating joyful habits isn't a one-size-fits-all process. It's personal, unique to you. So take your time, experiment, and find what works for you. As you weave these habits into your life, you'll start to notice a shift. You'll feel lighter, brighter, and more in tune with the universe's favor. Chapter 6. Harnessing the Power of Gratitude Unleash the transformative power of gratitude in your life and you'll discover a profound sense of joy that resonates with the universe's favor. You see, gratitude isn't just about saying thank you. It's about truly appreciating the goodness in your life. It's about recognizing the positive and acknowledging how it enriches your existence. This simple gesture can cause a chain reaction of positivity and joy in your life, bringing the universe's favor to you. Now, you might be wondering, how do I harness the power of gratitude start by making it a daily practice? Each morning, take a moment to reflect on what you're grateful for. It could be a loved one, a warm bed, or even the new day ahead. Write down these thoughts in a gratitude journal. Over time, you'll notice a shift in your perspective. You'll start seeing the world through a lens of appreciation. And that's when the magic happens. As you cultivate this attitude of gratitude, You'll find that you're more resilient in the face of difficulties. You'll feel a deep sense of contentment that comes from appreciating what you have rather than focusing on what you lack. The universe responds to this positive energy, favoring those who embody joy and gratitude. Chapter 7. Letting Go of Negativity So how can you let go of negativity and open up space for joy in your life? The answer lies in your hands. It's about being mindful and understanding that you have the power to control your thoughts rather than them controlling you. Firstly, recognize your negative thoughts. Acknowledge them, but don't dwell on them. You're human, and it's normal to have negative thoughts, but the trick isn't to let them consume you. When you catch yourself thinking negatively, gently guide your thoughts to a more positive place. Secondly, practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself. You're not perfect, no one is. So don't beat yourself up over your mistakes. Instead, learn from them and move forward. Keep in mind that every setback is an opportunity for a comeback. Thirdly, surround yourself with positivity. This means positive people, positive environments, and positive experiences. Negativity often breeds more negativity, so it's essential to keep your environment positive. Lastly, practice gratitude. It's hard to be negative when you're grateful. Start each day by listing three things you're grateful for. It will change your perspective and help you see the good in every situation. Chapter 8. Manifesting Joyful Intentions Harnessing the power of joyful intentions can actually improve your life and put you on the path to happiness and fulfillment. This isn't about pretending to be happy when you're not. It's about choosing to focus on joy and allowing that joy to guide your decisions and actions. Imagine your intentions as seeds. When you plant a seed, you don't just toss it in the ground and walk away. You water it, provide it with sunlight and protect it from harm. Your joyful intentions need the same care. Nurture them daily with positive thoughts and actions. Surround yourself with positivity. Trust in your ability to manifest joy in your life. Start by setting a joy-centered intention each morning. As you wake up, think about something that brings you joy. It could be as simple as a warm cup of coffee or as grand as achieving a lifelong dream. Whatever it is, hold that joyful thought in your mind as you go about your day. Let it guide your actions and decisions. In this way, you're aligning your day with joy. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Reach out to others who are also striving to live joyfully. Share your experiences, support each other, and celebrate your successes together. Together, you can create a ripple effect of joy that extends beyond your individual lives. Manifesting joyful intentions is a powerful way to invite happiness and fulfillment into your life. The universe responds to joy, and when you cultivate joy within, 
you'll find it mirrored back to you in surprising and delightful ways. Chapter 9 Aligning with Universal Flow Diving into the universal flow, you'll find that it's like stepping into a river of joy, where you become part of a larger, dynamic energy that's constantly moving and evolving. This energy isn't static, but rather it's vibrant, filled with boundless possibilities, and it's waiting for you to tap into it. To align with this universal flow, you need to be in tune with your inner self, your desires, and your passions. It's about recognizing and acknowledging the energy within you, and then letting it guide you. It's a process of surrendering, not in a sense of giving up, but rather of letting go of control and trusting the process. Once you start aligning with the universal flow, you'll notice that things start to fall into place. It's as if the universe is conspiring to help you achieve your dreams. Opportunities present themselves, doors open and paths clear. You start to see the synchronicities, the coincidences, and the signs that you're on the right track. Chapter 10. Embracing Self-Love and Acceptance Embracing self-love and acceptance, you begin a transformative journey of acknowledging your intrinsic worth, celebrating your uniqueness, and cultivating an unshakable belief in your abilities. This journey isn't about inflating your ego or ignoring your flaws. It's about acknowledging that you're a work in progress and you're capable of learning, growing, and evolving. Now, imagine looking at yourself through a lens of love and acceptance. What do you see? A person who's worthy of joy, success, and happiness, right? That's the real you. Don't let the shadows of self-doubt and criticism obscure your view. Stand tall in your truth, knowing that you've got what it takes to create a life of joy, fulfillment, and abundance. You might wonder, how can I embrace self-love and acceptance? It's simpler than you think. Begin by speaking kindly to yourself. Swap out self-criticism with affirmation. Instead of saying, I can't do this, say, I'm learning and getting better every day, treat yourself with the same compassion and understanding you'd extend to a dear friend. Lastly, never forget that you're deserving of love and respect, not because of what you do or what you have, but simply because of who you are. You're a unique expression of the universe with limitless potential and boundless capacity for joy. Embrace this truth and let it guide your journey towards self-love and acceptance. This isn't just about you feeling good about yourself. It's about you stepping into your power and creating a joy-filled life. Chapter 11. Finding Joy in Simple Pleasures As you journey towards self-love and acceptance, you'll start to notice the profound joy that can be found in life's simple pleasures. These aren't grand gestures or costly possessions, but the ordinary moments that touch your heart and lighten your spirit. It could be the warmth of the morning sun on your skin, the fresh scent of rain-soaked earth, or the laughter of a loved one. You see, joy isn't about waiting for big, life-changing events. It's about appreciating the here and now and recognizing the beauty in every moment. It's the first sip of coffee in the morning, a walk in the park, the sight of a butterfly fluttering by, or a good book on a quiet afternoon. Make a conscious effort to tune into these moments. Slow down, breathe, really take in the experience. You'll find that these little things, these simple pleasures, are often the most joyful. Chapter 12. Spreading Joy to Others Spreading joy isn't just about improving your own happiness. It's about lighting up the world for those around you, too. It's about transforming your joy into a contagious energy that uplifts everyone you interact with. Imagine if everyone around you was a little bit happier and how that would bounce back and amplify your own joy. When you're joyful, it's like you're carrying around a little sun in your heart, casting warm light on all you encounter. You'll find people are naturally drawn to your positive energy. A simple smile, a kind word, or a thoughtful gesture can make a world of difference in someone's day. You've got this power within you, you just need to let it shine. Do you know what's even better? Spreading joy doesn't require grand gestures. It can be as simple as sharing a joke, giving a compliment, or lending an ear to a friend in need. 
It's about knowing that your joy is infectious and using that to create a ripple effect of happiness in your community. Believe in the power of your joy. Understand that it's a gift you can give freely and that the universe rejoices every time you do. Be the spark that ignites a joy revolution, inspiring others to seek their own happiness and pass it on. When you spread joy, you're not just making your world brighter, you're contributing to a global glow of happiness. Remember, the universe favors joyful people, and you have the opportunity to be one of them. So let's get out there and spread some joy. Chapter 13. Practicing Mindfulness Daily Let's dive into the habit of practicing mindfulness daily, a powerful tool to nurture and amplify your joy. Imagine starting your day with a clear mind, fully present and attuned to your senses. Allowing yourself to be fully in the moment, you'll start to notice the beauty in the mundane and the extraordinary in the ordinary. Mindfulness is the practice of paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It is not necessary to cleanse your mind, rather, acknowledge and accept your ideas, feelings, and experiences. By simply noticing your breath, the sensation of the sun on your skin, or the taste of your morning coffee, you can cultivate a sense of peace and joy in your everyday life. So, how do you embrace this practice? Start small. Dedicate a few minutes each day to mindfulness. It can be as simple as focusing on your breath for a few minutes when you wake up, or really tasting and savoring your food at mealtimes. Remember, mindfulness isn't about achieving a state of eternal happiness. It is about taking life as it comes with all of its ups and downs and finding joy in the process. It's about acknowledging your feelings, but not letting them control you. The beauty of mindfulness is that it's a skill you can cultivate. The more you practice, the better you'll get at it. And as you become more mindful, you'll find that joy comes more naturally to you. The universe indeed favors the joyful, and you have the power within you to tap into that joy. Chapter 14. Overcoming Obstacles with Joy While cultivating mindfulness can bring a sense of peace and amplify your joy, it's also your secret weapon for overcoming life's hurdles with a joyful spirit. Obstacles, setbacks, and hurdles are an inevitable part of life. However, it's not the obstacles themselves that define us, but how we choose to respond to them. Imagine facing your obstacles not with dread or fear, but with joy. This joy isn't about denying the challenge or painting a rosy picture over a difficult situation. It's about embracing the obstacle, acknowledging it, and then choosing to approach it with a positive, joyful attitude. It's about seeing the opportunity for growth and learning that comes with every challenge. Joy provides you the bravery to tackle your issues head on, the resilience to recover from setbacks, and the strength to persevere even when times are difficult. Joy helps you to see the silver lining in every cloud, the light at the end of every tunnel. It's the fuel that keeps your spirit burning bright, even in the face of adversity. Chapter 15 Creating a Joyful Environment In every corner of your life, there's an opportunity to create an environment that radiates joy fostering positivity and well-being. It's not about being happy all the time, it's about creating a space where joy can bloom naturally. Consider your physical surroundings. Do they inspire joy? If not, it's time for some changes. Tidy up your space, let in natural light, or add some plants. It's amazing how changing your surroundings can shift your mood. But a joyful environment isn't just about physical space. It's about the people you surround yourself with, too. Spend time with those who uplift your spirits, who make you laugh, who remind you of the good in the world. Their energy can be infectious, helping to foster your own joy. Above all, creating a joyful environment means fostering a joyful mindset. You have the power to control how you perceive your world, choose to see the good, to focus on the positive. Celebrate the little victories, the everyday miracles, Learn to laugh at life's absurdities. Embrace gratitude and cultivate mindfulness. Chapter 16. Setting Joyful Goals 
Harnessing the power of joy in setting your goals can ignite a passion that drives you towards achieving them with an enthusiastic spirit. A joy-centered goal isn't just about the end result, but also the journey. It's about choosing to do what fills your heart with happiness and purpose and letting this energy guide you. You're not just setting a goal, you're setting a joyful goal. Now, you might wonder, how do I set a joyful goal? Begin by asking yourself what truly excites you. What are those dreams you've tucked away, convinced they were too lofty or unrealistic? Dust them off, look at them with fresh eyes, and let your heart sing. Next, visualize the steps you need to take. Break down your objective into doable activities that will not overwhelm you but will instead provide you with a sense of accomplishment as you complete each one. Remember that it is important to enjoy the journey as much as the destination. Then, keep your focus sharp. Distractions will come, but don't let them steer you off course. Stay committed to your joyful goal and let your passion fuel your persistence. Lastly, celebrate every achievement no matter how small. Every step you take towards your joyful goal is a victory. So don't wait until you've reached the end to start celebrating. The process itself is a joy. Chapter 17, Nurturing Joyful Relationships. Just as a garden thrives with consistent care and attention, so do your relationships when they're nurtured with joy. It's essential to realize that joy isn't just a feeling, it's a choice. And when you choose joy, you're choosing to invest in your relationships, making them stronger and more resilient. Consider the people in your life, the ones you love and care for. How can you cultivate more joy with them? Perhaps it's through shared laughter, creating fond memories, or simply being there for each other in times of need. It's about being present, fully engaged and appreciating each other. Remember to communicate openly. Express your joy, your gratitude, and your love. Let them know how much they mean to you. It's these heartfelt expressions that foster a joyful bond. It's these moments that build a relationship that's not just strong, but joyful. Celebrate the small victories and the big ones. Celebrate the ordinary days and the extraordinary ones. Every moment is an opportunity to infuse joy into your relationship. It's these celebrations, these joyful moments, that create a tapestry of happiness in your relationship. Nurturing joyful relationships isn't always easy, but it's always worth it. It's a journey of love, laughter, and joy. It's a journey that's better because you're doing it together. So choose joy. Choose to nurture your relationships with joy. Because in the end, a life filled with joy is a life well lived. Chapter 18. Finding Joy in Adversity. While nurturing joyful relationships enriches your life, it's equally important to learn how to find joy even when facing adversity. You see, life isn't always sunshine and rainbows, but the universe still favors those who can maintain their joy amidst the storm. Let's start with a fundamental truth adversity isn't your enemy. It's a teacher, a guide, a catalyst for growth. How you perceive and react to adversity defines your ability to experience joy. Adopting a positive mindset is crucial. When things go wrong, instead of lamenting, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? There's always a silver lining, a lesson to be learned, an opportunity for growth. Remember, joy isn't the absence of problems, but the ability to deal with them. It's knowing that the storm won't last forever and better days are on the horizon. It's feeling grateful for the courage and strength you find within yourself when facing tough times. It's about believing in your ability to bounce back, stronger and wiser. To frame your thinking. Instead of viewing difficulty as a roadblock, consider it a stepping stone toward becoming a better version of yourself. Accept challenges as chances for learning, growth, and evolution. When life knocks you down, get back up, dust yourself off, and keep pushing forward. Chapter 19. Staying present in the moment. Embracing the now, the present moment, can become your greatest ally in cultivating joy. It's not about ignoring the past or future, but rather owning in on the current moment. You see, the present is where life happens, 
It's the only tangible reality we have. It's where joy lives, breathes, and thrives. So how can you stay present? Begin by tuning into your senses. Take in the details around you, listen to the soundscape, touch the environment, smell the fragrances, and taste the flavors. This heightened sensory awareness helps you to fully engage with the here and now. Mindfulness is another effective tool. It's the art of being fully engaged in whatever you're doing, thinking, or feeling at any given moment. It's not about clearing your mind, but rather about being aware of your thoughts without judgment or distraction. So whether you're eating a meal, walking in a park, or chatting with a friend, give it your undivided attention. Remember, staying present isn't a one-time event, it's a practice. It's something you cultivate, like a garden, that will flourish with time and attention. It's okay to drift. The key is to gently bring yourself back to the now when you notice you've wandered. Life is an endless series of present moments, and the more you can engage with them, the more joy you'll find. So, stay present, stay joyful, because the universe favors those who revel in the beauty of the now. Chapter 20. Expressing Joy Through Creativity In addition to staying present, harnessing your creativity serves as a delightful pathway to experiencing more joy in your life. Creativity isn't about being an artist or a novelist, it's about expressing yourself in unique ways. It's about finding joy in the creation process, be it baking a cake, gardening, or even arranging your bookshelf. Dive deep into your interests and hobbies. They're the perfect starting point for your creative journey. Don't worry about the end result being perfect, it's the process that'll bring you joy. When you're knee-deep in creating, you'll find yourself in a state of flow. This is where the magic happens. You'll lose track of time, and your worries will melt away. It's a beautiful experience. Creativity also allows you to express positive emotions. It's a wonderful outlet for your happiness, love, and gratitude. Paint a picture, write a poem, or dance freely. It doesn't matter how, just pour your joy into something tangible. You'll find that your joy becomes infectious, inspiring those around you to be more joyful as well. Chapter 21. Celebrating Small Wins Don't forget to revel in your small victories, as each little win is a stepping stone on the path to sustain joy. It's easy to overlook the little things that go your way each day when you're focused on the big picture. But keep in mind that every journey begins with a single step, and celebrating minor victories can serve as a motivator to move you ahead. Think about the last time you achieved something small, like finishing a book or making a new recipe successfully. Didn't it feel great? That's because when you acknowledge your successes, even the small ones, you're also acknowledging your efforts, your talents, your strengths, and your growth. These small victories help you to see the progress you're making towards your larger goals. Start by setting attainable goals each day. It could be something as simple as waking up early, drinking more water, or helping a neighbor. Then, when you've accomplished that goal, take a moment to celebrate. You're not just making progress, you're growing as a person. And that's something to be joyful about. Also, share your wins, no matter how small, with others. This isn't bragging, it's spreading joy. Enthusiasm is contagious, and your small win might just inspire someone else to work towards their own goals. Chapter 22. Seeking Joy in Nature While your small victories are paving the path to personal joy, Let's not forget the immense joy that Mother Nature herself offers us. The universe is vast and beautiful, and its natural wonders can inspire feelings of awe and happiness that are truly rejuvenating. Take a walk in the park, sit by a flowing stream, or just enjoy the sight of the setting sun. These simple activities can bring you a sense of calm and joy that's hard to find elsewhere. Nature's beauty is free, limitless, and available to everyone. It's a gift that keeps on giving. There's also something incredibly healing about nature. It's in the rustling leaves, the chirping birds, and the gentle breeze. It's in the scent of fresh pine or in the sight of bright, blooming flowers. 
The natural world has a way of reminding us of life's simple pleasures and the fact that there's beauty all around us if we just take the time to look. Chapter 23. Radiating Joyful Energy Beyond embracing joy within yourself, it's equally important to radiate this joyful energy, creating a positive ripple effect that touches everyone around you. It's like casting a pebble into a calm lake the ripples expand outward, reaching far beyond the initial splash. Your joy, similarly, can be that pebble, inspiring and uplifting others. Now, you might ask, how do you radiate this joyful energy? It's simpler than you think. Start every day with a smile, ignite your spirit with the spark of positivity. Your optimism will become contagious, spreading warmth and cheer to those around you. Remember, even the smallest act of kindness can make a world of difference. But let's not stop there. Find ways to express your joy openly. Share your passion, your dreams, your achievements, and your gratitude. Engage in activities that make your heart sing and allow others to see the joy that fills your life. These moments of shared joy create a vibrant, positive energy that can uplift and inspire. Yet, it's important to remember, radiating joy isn't about being happy all the time. It's about embracing life's ups and downs with a positive spirit. It is about seeing the silver lining in every cloud and choosing to dance in the rain rather than waiting for the calamity to pass. Chapter 24. Sustaining Joyful Practices You've discovered the power of joy. Now it's time to make it a lasting part of your life. Through daily joy rituals, cultivating a gratitude journaling habit, and practicing mindful meditation, you can keep this positivity flowing. Daily Joy Rituals Embrace the magic of each new day with simple rituals that spark joy and set a positive tone for your journey ahead. Start by greeting the day with a smile. It's more than just a facial expression. It's an internal posture that says, I'm ready for you, universe. Savor your morning coffee or tea, treating it as a moment of mindfulness. Appreciate the warmth, the aroma, the taste. Make it a point to do at least one thing you love each day, whether that's reading a chapter of a good book, taking a walk in nature, or playing a favorite song. Little things matter. They're the building blocks of a joyful life. Gratitude journaling habit. In the quest for sustained joy, Making a habit of gratitude journaling can be your secret weapon. This simple yet effective habit can shift your perspective, concentrating your attention on the positive aspects of your life. It's not about ignoring life's challenges, but choosing to see the blessings within them. Every day, jot down three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be monumental appreciation for a warm cup of coffee, or a stranger's smile will suffice. Over time, you'll find this habit reshapes your outlook, and joy becomes a natural state of being. Remember, the universe favors the joyful let gratitude journaling be your conduit to maintaining this blissful state. Embrace this habit. It's a game changer in the pursuit of joy. Mindful Meditation Practice Building on the joy that gratitude journaling brings, let's explore another transformative practice mindful meditation. This simple yet powerful form of meditation encourages you to focus on the present moment. It's not just about quieting the mind, but also about cultivating an awareness and acceptance of what is. Imagine the peace that comes from merely observing your thoughts, not judging or engaging with them. This practice can help you maintain a joyful disposition, quiet the noise of negativity, and bolster your resilience. It's a gift you give to yourself a pause in your day to reconnect with the essence of joy within you. Remember, the universe favors those who cultivate joy and mindful meditation is a fantastic way to do just that. In the end, it's all about embracing joy and radiating positivity. Tune into the universe's vibrations, celebrate every win, and seek joy in nature's beauty. Cultivate habits that uplift you and keep the joyful practices alive. Remember, the universe favors the joyful. It's not just a theory, it's a lifestyle. So start today, be joyful, and watch as the universe responds in kind. Keep your chin up, 
and keep the joy flowing. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.